I believe in divine appointments. There's a reason why certain situations happen in your life. It's called my burning bush moment. Like, I don't know why certain things happen, don't happen. But I take a step back. Okay, Lord, what's going on here? What am I supposed to press on through? What am I supposed to be acting immaturity about? And by the way, I just want to let you guys know, there's a large part of my life I'm very childlike. I still enjoy a lot of things in life. I'm very goofy. I like playing prank jokes. But when it comes to money, my responsibilities, my role as a father, my role as a CEO of my company, I take, I take those things very seriously. And by the way, let me add on a little bit of history of my experience. Guess who my entire life? I've never seen make excuses that they have time or the money. You know what I believe? In those time excuses and those money excuses, by the way, it's hurtful for me to say this because I have family members and people that grew up with stuck in this, but people that never make excuses about time and money are who? Addicts, drug addicts, alcoholics, gamblers. You know what? These people I grew up in my life in the streets of Chicago. I grew up with my neighborhood in Chicago, family members I knew. Sadly, they were addicted on some other outside substance to get them through their troubling moments to you know, find out a way that can cope what's going on in life. Guess what they never complained about? They never complained about lacking time to do their thing. They never lacked about never having enough money to do their thing. They found money to do drugs. They found money to buy alcohol. They found money to go gamble and many other things. And by the way, every one of us, every one of us has some form of addiction. It's just what we are addicted to and how we challenge it and how we express that. But you know, I've never heard them say, I don't have no time to do my drugs. I have no time to do my alcohol and drink. I have no time to, uh, you know, they always find time. And guess what? They always find the money. They're very resourceful. Addicts are very resourceful. You know why? They're so locked in to getting their fix. So are you telling me, you watching this right now, are being out hustled, out maneuvered, out strategized by an addict? By a drug addict, by a coke addict, by an alcoholic. By the way, it's, again, I'm not saying this for any fun at all, but they don't ever seem to give me any excuses. But people are raising families. People that have to expand their businesses slip into rational excuses why they can't do something. What? And I hope that this is a come to Jesus moment for many of you, that this situation that is presented before you've been giving these, you've been given these gifts, this moment of growth, and many of you are choosing fear. Many are choosing limiting beliefs. You don't think you were called to be the head, and now you're acting like the tail? You meant and born and given opportunities to grow it. There's a stewardship responsibility with what you have been given, whether it's time, talent, resources, opportunities, access, you got it. What are you doing about it?